one of the most powerful messages of truth that's coming forward today that is probably the most relevant message of love, understanding, truth. Courage. Rebuking, correcting. I can go on and on. That quote unquote black America needs to hear today is coming forth from a by the man or a man by the name of Dennis Spurling. Uh he was a friend of Kevin Samuels. They met and they briefly were able to connect and they became good friends. And as you know, Kevin Samuels was a man that spoke truth uh, and really uh, shook up the black community from the perspective of male-female relationships and, and as well is the kind of men that we needed to be producing. Now, Kevin Samuels has passed on and as you've seen, black women has attacked this man's character to such an extent uh, that is truly disgusting, that they, they, they celebrated this man's death. Now, you got to understand and ask yourself a question. If somebody's attacking someone that viciously and they can really find no fault in this man, what's really going on? What's really going on? And so now comes along Kevin, uh, 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 Dennis Sperling. Now, he ain't coming with a message of, um, of the same message that Kevin Samuels came with. He's coming with an adulter, an unadulterated, uh, uh, brutal sword that we need to really just draw the line. And we're at the stage it, that we need to draw the line. Kevin Samuels wanted to compromise, but you can clearly see that these hood rats, these bone quiches, um, uh, uh, these uh, these degenerate uh, uh, blacks, they don't want to compromise at all. They don't want to hear the truth. Um, so therefore, uh, 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 Dennis Sperling is bringing the sword. And I think that he is one of the greatest messengers of love that we have in this generation. I mean, you got pastors and elders and bishops and across all of these Christian and he they ain't talking to that level. They're not talking to that level. Um, they're not talking to the level where they're making a clear distinction in terms of what we need to be doing, what we need to be cutting off, what we don't need to be dealing with, what we need to be dealing with and how we need to preserve ourselves in the hour that we're living in because the black family is all but destroyed. And you think you're going to get Bonquisha. You think you're going to get a uh, 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 Pookie and Ray Ray. Uh, 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 and you're going to get them with their three and four, five children by three and four, five different men and bring them into ministry and 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 and, 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 and preach deliverance to them and thinking that it's going to change uh, d during during the past 10 years. How much how much success has that been? How much success has that been? Where now men got to settle for uh, uh, women that uh, has, has been ran through by a whole bunch of different men and and and, and traumatized and, and 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 they got all these children and shit and all of this and all this baggage and all this semen up in their brain cells uh, uh, stems. Now who gonna deal with that shit? Who gonna deal with that shit? Because now your vision that the Most High Yah has put in your heart uh, is not fulfilling the vision. It's fixing some damn woman. It's fixing some damn woman. All your spiritual time and energy. Fixing some woman. We are done for. Black productive men, men that have means, uh, men that are getting out there and getting after it, everywhere. And we all have value men when it comes to men that are productive. Um, 
uh, the, the small time carpenter or plumber or mechanic that's running his own business or, 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 or working and just making an honest living. This is what Ka oh, this is what, what De Dennis Sperling is talking to to try and uplift. And he's a lawyer. But he's talking to all men of ability. Don't settle your don't settle for less. Don't settle for some damn fix it job. I don't care how much damn spiritual power you think you got. You deserve better than that. And that's what he's saying. And this is what these pastors and these preachers, they ain't talking about that. They're talking about some damn fix it job. Got up here and all you gotta do is love her. Ain't that some bullshit? Nothing but a damn lie from the pit of hell. Listen here. You better pay people like Dennis Sproul in all your mind because he's trying to preserve you and preserve your time and your effort, your energy and your spiritual resources not to waste it, put it in a damn bag of holes. He's delineating between the pookies and the ray rays and the real men and the real sisters that need the real love. This is the kind of message that we need in the hour that we're living in. There's too much compromise going on. No more compromise. My attitude is no more compromise. Have the spirit of discernment to understand who is for you and who is against you. Have the spirit of discernment to know who is lost and who can be found. Have the spirit of discernment to understand that everybody ain't worth your time and energy and effort and resources. Let the shit get with the shit. You done destroyed your life? Yeah, sure. Like he said in his video, his last video, and I'm going to put it in a link below. Sure, there's people that can that can really turn their lives around, but we're saying that few and far in between. Even in ministry. Even in ministry. How you going to have people 10 years part of a damn deliverance ministry and you still feel with the devil? And you still topped off with the devil. Time tells all things. I've been saying it over and over. Just give it time. Just give it time. People like Dennis Sperl and Dennis, he need to be prayed for. You need to send out your spiritual prayers for him. And support him in good work. Because he's doing a good work for his people. Because all I'm hearing is love. I ain't hearing hate. But everybody say, oh, he's preaching hate. And hate this and hate this. And you hate black people. What? I feel the exact same way that he does. We hate degenerate black males that are destroying our people. We hate degenerate hood rat twerking ass multiple baby mama, hood red ass, uh, 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 women that is destroying the image of our people. I got three daughters. I don't want them looking at, thinking that they're going to think that Suki Hana or running around with a whole bunch of damn tattoos and hair piercings and fake hair and fake hair nails and fake eyes and fake this and fake that and talk about you real. It ain't nothing but a whole bunch of damn scallywag whores today trying to make it seem like they real with a whole bunch of airbrush photos and fake hair and fake weaves and then, and then you get and they take all that shit off and they look like shit underneath. They done destroyed themselves. Who in the hell gonna want to wipe that up? Only some desperate ass niggas want to wipe that garbage up. Pray for Dennis Sperling. We need more voices like him. He is just tearing it up. There's only going to be a remnant that's going to hear it. There's only going to be a remnant that's going to love what he's saying and actually do. Gravitate towards people of like mind. Gravitate. Let's pull our sons and our daughters together that are actually getting things done and that have a living example like Dennis Sperling. Look at the young men that that man is raising. Those are the kind of children or young men that we want our daughters to marry. Those are the kind of young men that we want uh, our daughters to marry. The kind of daughters that I'm raising, and this is why I show it, are the kind of daughters 
that those young men are going to want to marry. Because they're being taught how to be helpmeets, not to be whores. Oh, I know a lot of people ain't going to like the way we talk, but we don't give a damn what you think. We're going to judge you by your fruit, not by your words. You better believe it. Pray for that man. He's doing a good work. We love you, Dennis Sperling. We support you. Um, and folks like that, we need to gravitate towards one another because everybody ain't going to hear the message. Everybody ain't going to get it. And it's fine. Go on over there with them pookies and them degenerate Ray Rays. And I've been talking about this and I've been saying this for years. For years. He's tapping into the thoughts and the feelings and expressions and the experiences of men like me. And it's resonating. Be doers, not hearers only. Produce the fruit through your family. Because I can tell the quality of man by the quality of family he's raising. If you're struggling, get it right. If you're struggling, work to strive towards being a better man. But as long as you're on that path, but a lot of people, you don't see them struggling towards nothing. You don't see them increasing towards nothing. Whole bunch of damn foolishness going on out there. Congratulations. Keep on uh, good doing a good job, Dennis Sperling. A uh, uh, man like us out here, real men. And I challenge anybody to question my fruit. And let's question yours and see where you at. Let's see where I'm at. They ain't going to do that, though. Yeah, see, a lot of people talk to talk, but there's few that's going to walk to walk. Keep on doing what you're doing, Brother Sperling. You're doing a good work. And we support and we love you. Shalom.